Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Cyberpunk 2077. In this one, I want to give you a quick guide on where to find six perk shard locations. Perk shards are items that you can find out in the open world that instantly grant you a free perk point once picked up. You can then use these to unlock one of any of the traits you choose in your given perk skill tree. These are fairly rare to find, but they are also very strong for your character to have. And in this video, we've got six locations that you definitely want to check out. And also thanks to Fujikai on Reddit for putting together a handy post on the locations. However, just before I let you guys watch that, just spare me 30 seconds to uh, very kindly thank Nvidia and PC Specialist for sponsoring this video. They very kindly sent me over a beast of a machine to uh, run Cyberpunk in the best possible way. We're playing this with RTX on the PC Specialist system. PC Specialist are Europe's leading system integrator. They specialize in high performance, custom built gaming PCs and laptops for gamers, creators, that kind of thing. You can go over to their site and you can configure your own system with their online configurator built and shipped straight to your door. We're of course playing Cyberpunk 2077 on an RTX 3080 with ray tracing enabled DLSS turned on, which means we not only get those next gen graphics, the shiny lights, the great reflections, but we also get great performance. For any more information, you can click the link in the description box down below. But with that being said, let's dive into the video. Of course, if you guys have found any more perk shards yourself, by all means, let us know in the comments down below and of course keep it locked for plenty more cyberpunk content but perk shard number one you find these by completing the uh, certain ncpd scanner hustles in the open world as well as hidden gem locations that won't actually appear on your map for the first location you want to go to the north side area in the kind of top middle of the map there is a warehouse guarded by wyvern drones just kill these drones if you have the short circuit quick hack it's very effective at this or if you have a melee build you can punch them in the face and you then want to go to the back of the building there are two boxes with one containing a purple loot item and this is the first perk shot for your second location, the next one includes two perk shards, so uh, two for the price of one. This is near the south side of Japantown, there is an assault NCPD hustle, and after killing the three enemies guarding the crashed car, you will find the first shard on a dead body in the trunk, and a second on the dead body of the driver. Moving on from there to location number three and shard number four. Near the middle northwest of Aroyo, there is another NCPD assault hustle. Simply kill the four enemies guarding the area, and look for the dead body in front of the open garage. Looting this body will give you the next perk shot. Then finally, for the fourth location that gives you the remaining two shards, shards five and six, keep in mind, if you are early in the game, it might be a bit of a difficult area to obtain them, and you will ultimately end up visiting this location later on in the game for a mission anyway, so you know, feel free to save it or just be brave and try and do it early. Either way, in the east of the Aroyo area, there is an Arasaka base, and inside the standalone building to the southeast of the base on the top floor, there is a box containing the first perk shard in this location. For the second shard, you then want to go directly north of this building inside a side door of the warehouse with a box on the floor before taking the stairs down. This will then contain the final perk shot. So, hope you guys found that helpful. Just a super quick guide for you, but these are things you definitely want to pick up because obviously you get some of the perk points as you are organically leveling up. But then if you want to uh, unlock some more stuff further down your skill tree, then grabbing these is definitely going to be super handy. So again, if you found this useful, let us know in the comments down below. Also, let us know if you guys know any other locations and be sure to keep it locked because we've got some more cyberpunk content coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys wanna chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.